Hi everyone, it's Jonah from Double Political Science here. And Matt as well, say hi. Uh, today we've got the reveals of the SRs in Tournament of Power. Ah. As you can see, those are the cards themselves, and we'll be going into the effects very shortly. As in now. <laughs> so, that's the first one. So, we've got universe Sa the Universe 7 Saiyan Prince Vegeta. My words. Why do I always cock up? Sorry. Right. Auto. When you play this card from your hand, if your leader card is red, choose that to one of your other Saiyan battle cards in play, uh, which are Universe 7 or 6, and switch it to active mode, and both that card and this card gain 10,000 power and triple strike. So, bear in mind, he's a fire drop with 20k as well, so he's going to be going... Right, he's going to go swing for 20... Well, no, he's not. He's not. The card in play is. So he's going to come in and be like, okay, I'll switch this to active mode. Cool, right. 30 triple strike and whatever card you target to restand and gain triple strike with the extra 10,000 power. She's going to be like, yeah, okay, I'll follow in. Which is really good, giving something just triple strike that had like one damage to begin with. Or double strike beforehand. Yeah. You know, whatever at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, we're just going to scroll down the list to find the next one. And the next one is here? Yep, so it's four seeing hits. It's a four cost red with 2k power. 2k? That's 20k. Two, 20k power. Ugh. Played with Vanguard today. Uh, so he has double strike. And the also of when you play this card from your hand, your opponent reveals that hand. Choose up to do battle cards with 35k power or less and send them to the war. And then your opponent's next turn, return all the sent cards to their hand. Which is dirty and I love it so much because it's hits. <laughs> no, it is actually a really nice card. And, like, it's not restricted to Universe 6, so you could just run it in red in general. And if the, your opponent has like a super combo in hand, you just immediately get rid of that. Yeah, I don't think you would not hesitate. Oh wait, there's that cab, but what the hell is he doing again? Oh, he does have, um... Bonus combat activate. Okay, and, now and I under... Okay, now I understand. That makes more sense now. And I think that's the one... Or was it... Or was it that one that was... Shown for the kale? I'm sorry, it's because in the, um... Well, the, the, the... You went past it. Oh, I went past it. Oopsie. Yeah, so, Relentless Super Saiyan Kale evolve for double strike auto when a card rolls in this card choose all battle cards with 25 or less power other than this card your Khalifa and KO them this is other than this card or your Khalifa so it would be you could save a Khalifa and her technically yeah but that is, in general is quite good because it's like yeah you lose some cards but so does your opponent it's gonna hurt your opponent more and they don't have to be in active or rest mode. Plus, like, if you're just playing Khalifas and Kales. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so... Damn it, I've got to do this, haven't I? Yep. Uh, I will find it. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> We're into the blues now. Where is it? There it is! <laughs> like I said, I'll find it eventually. Um, so this is Beerus, Universe 7, Divine, Vanquisher. Double Strike, uh, sorry, it's got 5 drop, 25. Double Strike, Auto, when this card attacks a leader card, your opponent chooses a number of cards from the hand, battle area, or energy area, for which the total cost adds up to 6 or more, and places them in a drop area. So, it's a it's cheaper <coughs> 7 drop, but can hit harder. It, it <laughs> it's still quite a nasty card considering the seven what the seven drop can do. Like this one, they have to hit a minimum of six, and if they've got like ones and two drops in their hands, for example, they're losing a good chunk. Uh, it, it says battle area or energy as well. So if they have to, they might have to give up an untapped energy. So you probably try and kill off some of their board before you play this card. Plus, like, if so you're just swinging a battle area card to be like, come on, die, 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 cool. You have no battle area cards, this is just going to hurt now. And like, if you can get this guy in one turn and the next turn somehow you get the other bearers, you're hitting them hard. Yeah, just a little. That's an old con. Where's the other I saw? 
There he is. There it is. I will get there we go. So we got 300 dangers, Bergamo. No surprise there. Um, so 20k power, 4 cost of blue. Uh, permanent, if this card is in rest mode, your opponent's battle cards can only attack this card. Uh, another opponent, when Lambda and Basil are in play, all of your trio the dangers in the battle area gain barrier. And then when this card is attacked, he gains 5k power for the duration of the turn. That doesn't say once per turn, so yeah. Every so time, time every time he attacks, he will gain the extra five k, and they can only attack him. So he goes to twenty five on the first attack, which is really good way to cancel that Vegeta we saw right here. Oh, sorry. I just got a bit further back from the mic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. I can't find... Oh, wait, there we go. We're on the green side. There, wait, is that it? Yep. That's it. Yep, there we go. Um, so, this is Son Goku, Hope of the Universe 7. He's an 8-drop, but he has EX Evolve. So, pay 1, place 2 Universe 7 from your hand drop area. Universe 7, Son Goku Avenger, costs 5 or more. Bam, play him. He has uh, triple attack, so we can go I attack, I attack, I attack. And he also has critical, so and the 35 base power, so you're applying a lot of pressure with a crit 35 and being able to attack on three separate times. It's like, well, okay, you just negate the first one, alright, I'll come at you again with 35 crit. It's an upgrade from what we are, because it's triple critical. <laughs> Somebody kill me. <laughs> um, <laughs> when this card attacks, <laughs> you'll need a card who's green, choose up to one card from your opponent's hand, or, or up to one of uh, one battle of their cards. battle cards and place it in the drop area. Blech. So that, again, it could work quite well on um, green decks, but you'd have to run the Universe 7 Gokus just to make it easier on you. Well, uh, yeah, but that's easily, easily done. I have no idea. Yes, yeah. I did. I certainly did go past the other one. My bad. So we got Maiden Squadron Leader, Rebrian. Um It's got 25k power. Five energy costs. Uh, she's evolved for free energy. Um, barrier. When the card evolves into this card, choose it from the opponent's battle cards and KO it. Always handy. Uh, when this card attacks, if Kakunsa and Rosie are in your battle area, choose up to two cards from your opponent's hand and place them in the drop. So it's forcing discards and killing stuff. Yeah, but it does kill stuff if it's evolved. Yeah, but... Uh, otherwise, it's still forcing two cards at the hand every time it attacks. And with Barrier, that's still good. Yeah, it makes it very difficult to get around. <laughs> um, so, I will find the next page. Oh, crap, I have to click off the um, but, 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 but I'm being very careful this time. Um... Okay, there we go, into the yellows. There is somewhere around here. Where are you? There you are! <laughs> right, so we got Freezer Emperor of Universe 7. So it's a 7 drop with 30k. Right, so EX Evolve, uh, play, uh, pay 1, place 1 Universe home from your hand, drop area, uh, energy cost 5 or more, yep. Yeah. He has Triple Strike, Pernaman, your leader card is yellow, and your opponent's. Uh, Counter skills and non keyword auto slash activate skills cannot be activated unless they place one cover on their life in the drop area. Oh. That is a really dirty card. I mean, you stop counters, autos, and active skills unless they like pay a life. So they have to crit themselves to activate anything. Uh, triple strike. It's the fact that it has triple strike as well. Your opponent is on free life. Cool. I'll swing with this triple strike. Um, do you want to activate that um, negate, do you? Take a life anyway. Well, like, if they want to activate their super combos, it's an auto skill. <laughs> so if they don't want to pay for the counter, they have to pay for the super combo to reduce the amount of damage they're taking. Um... Yeah, it, uh, yeah, grab so uh, um, Mecha Freezer's more disgusting. 
<coughs> I mean, it's. A, <coughs> if oh, it's there it is. Sorry, let's just listen to him. I'm reading the class. But yeah, um, with that phrase, if you're up against a mech, another mecha deck for some reason, like you make them pay more life, and considering mecha tries to awaken like second turn, they've got to be more careful. Or anything that self awakens actually, they've got to be careful with. Um. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it's like, cool, you're at one life. Oh, well, that was easy, right on top. And um, this is the final one, I do believe. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Just, alright. It's Absolute Justice Jiren. He's a 10 drop, uh, 35k power, quadruple strike. So, it's, that is like half their life gone if it hits. And they're still an 8 for some reason. Uh, Permanent. Reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one for each universe 11 in your battle area. Uh, you must pay the specified cost even if it exceeds the reduced amount. So you have to pay 5 yellow. No, regardless, but you can reduce it to just paying 5 yellow energy. Which is still good. Uh, also, when you play this card, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and energy in rest mode and place them in the drop. The thing is, because it says choose, it can't target things with barrier. But yeah, da, 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 da. well, it, it does a lot. If your parents tapped out, they lose all their energy. Uh, if they had an aggressive turn, you survived. You kill their battle cards. Um, or you just play yellow cards like Crusher Paul and Darkness Ivy. I think that forces stuff into rest, and then you bring him out and kill it. Yeah. <laughs> Can do that, yeah. Plus, the, the, I believe in the Gate of Universe 10 also forces them to put the card in rest mode, so you just make the deck about resting your opponent's battle cards and then Jiren can come in and kill them. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Whether it's on this page, I don't know. Yes, it is, which is rest mode. So, yeah, th it works really well about the Gate. Awesome. Right, I, yes, that's all of them, isn't it? Yes. Okay then. Well, there you go, guys. So, um, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.